What a difference a year makes. In a year when ChatGPT exploded onto the scene, a chastened tech industry laid off more than 200,000 workers and the economy seemed to lurch in slow motion toward a possible downturn. The conversation around the future of work isn't as rosy as it was a year ago. The big quit, remember the great resignation, has become the big stay. Extra days off to unplug were cancelled for a year of efficiency. Every day brings another warning of all the jobs AI will replace. Yet amid all that cause for concern, there are bright spots. Generative AI might replace some jobs, but it could make many others easier and less tedious. A stronger labor movement is gaining power and scoring wins, from airlines to autos to Hollywood. More companies are hiring based on workers' actual skills rather than the pedigree of a diploma. And even if many bosses are mandating workers back in the office, the numbers show hybrid work, and the flexibility that comes with it, is here to stay. We are, at the end of 2023, still very much in the middle of the in-between. The pandemic and the introduction of AI turned the page on what work was, where it happened, and how, but what it will become remains to be seen. Still, some are helping to point the way. Forbes's second Future of Work 50 list highlights the leaders, companies, thinkers and teams helping shape where work is headed next. From architects rethinking the use of commercial buildings to entrepreneurs helping workers manage extreme heat to former CEOs investing in rural economies, our list is eclectic by design. Some members are top executives of multinational corporations. Others are activists fighting for workers' rights while still others are relatively unknown startup leaders with out-of-the-box ideas. As would be expected in a year like this one, there are plenty of names on the list related to AI. Indeed, we took a deeper dive into three stories of people leading artificial intelligence tools or efforts at very different companies. A startup using it to power enterprise search, a tech giant deploying it across its products and a professional services firm plowing money into AI. Other themes of our list. Skills-based. Hiring. The shift to hybrid work. The rise of an empowered labor movement and new ways of managing people in a changed world. Former McKinsey thinker Bill Shaninger, meanwhile, has a few thoughts about why managers in the middle matter more than ever. To create our list, we queried more than 50 advisors, academics, investors and executives, as well as last year's listmakers and editors at Forbes, asking who they feel is shaping how we think about the future of work or reflecting the issues that will matter most. After getting suggestions for nearly 200 candidates, we narrowed the list to 50, weighing impact, potential, currency and creativity. Such a list is, by definition, a current snapshot, not a comprehensive catalog.